All right, goal four. Everything's in order. Let's stress test it with a really long race. Natalia wants to make sure it's not a snooze fest, so we'll call it quits once you lap an opponent. All right. Oh, we got 10 laps. So yeah, well, uh, and it's going to be Grand Prix circuit on top of that. So we'll lap somebody considering that we're in the grid. Uh, we've had mixture of like older 911s. So let's see. We got 918 Visek package, of course. And still got some uh, Bugattis in there, but uh, all right. But yeah, we got some older like GT2 Cup there. And uh, yeah. All right, and no other condition other than just lap an opponent at some point, so I like that. So we can, obviously, if you race faster, you'll be done sooner. And if you're slower, it might take you all 10 laps, but uh, I have a feeling most of us will be done under 10 laps. I have 10 laps, it's a lot of laps to go. So as long as you don't completely mess it up, I think, uh, uh, remember, they didn't say anything about winning, so we don't even have to win as long as, you know, because I have a feeling the faster cars in this grid will just lap the slower part of the grid just because the performance difference is that wide in this uh, set of cars. And we're spanning from, what, 2003? I think it's the oldest car in this grid, right? All the way up to uh, very modern ones, so... Alright, third place. And we got a Vulcan, Aston Martin. I would say, Vulcan gets my vote for having the best engine brawl in the entirety of the game. It's just purrs, you know? Alright, so... Lap 2. Alright. And, uh... I'll see if I can take the inside and overtake. Alright, now in second place. And, uh, let's see. Who's in? Which car is leading the race here? Oh, what is that? Is that a Bugatti? I have a feeling it might be. Of course, the braking and the grip on Bugatti is not nearly as good as really any Porsche uh, in the game, except for maybe. Carrera GT, which I think is arguably one of the worst cars in the game. Anyway, alright, so can we claim the first a little bit too much? Um, yeah, that's one of the tricky thing about the race, right? Uh, making sure that you stick to your line without getting uh, sucked into your opponent's line. Like when they slow down because they're going through the corner, uh, you try to overtake. Of course, you cannot do that. They're slowing down for a reason. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was just scrolling through the play mode just to check the damage status because um, in the cockpit view if your like windshield is cracked that generally means uh, your top speed might be a little hindered um, dampened performance and depending on the car some of them actually when you have a bad enough crash your hood gets all you know, crumbled up and 
get in the way of you, your sight of vision. But there we go. Uh, yeah, lapping. Was that the fourth lap? All right, so about halfway through the lap four. Took about four minutes and 16 seconds and change. So that was a pretty easy stage for the most part. Couple of quick events, uh, autocross and speed snap thrown in there. So that was pretty good. So yeah, I like this. Uh, this was a stage that like this last goal, if you wanted to make it as long as you want. Um, but of course, who's got time for that, right? So there we go. Remember to put your car in for service. Because, um, you know, 10 laps at Grand Prix circuit. Really anything above three laps, I think will put your car in red. But we're able to complete the stage without needing to service the car here. So that's always good. Keeps things moving for rewards. 15,000 racing dollars plus 10 gold. All right. Everything seems to be in perfect working order. Magnus may have had all the time in the world to practice, but he doesn't have me. <laughs> uh, or Natalia, or Michael, I guess, but mostly me. <laughs> all right. That is true. All right, so we'll see you guys in the next stage tomorrow. Until then, take care.